Hi everyone, welcome back to this channel. In this short video, I'm going to show you the setup guide Test Noise Rigger using PNAX that has option 029. So in option 029, we have an e-tuner built in on port 1 and also a noise receiver on port 2. As you can see my setup here, the device on the test is actually this purple cable that go around this area and this is a low loss cable. So we're looking about less than a, a dB loss at the frequency of interest. And then with this 0 to 9 options, we are able to measure about that range of noise figure. This is my setup. I'm going to go through that later. And let's focus on the software right now. So I represent the start stop frequency and number of points on this, but I can go back and start from scratch again. Let's do that. Let's go to preset. So everything is done. So initially, I need to know what is the loss for the cable so that we can have some reference to gauge what is the noise figure that we are expecting to see. So we're going to set two channels because we, on one channel we're going to run on noise figure measurements and the other one is just a normal S2 on measurements. So on trace one, I'm going to change to S2 one. It's not necessarily if you don't need to, this is just for main discussion purpose. So that's it, start from 100 meg. So I'm going to change to a narrow band, 100 to 500 meg. You're going to spend a lot of time in the calibrations if your span is too wide and number of points is too high. But for the sake of guiding you through setup, you can change any of these parameter as you seems fit to your test condition. So this is what we are looking at for channel one. Let's turn on channel two. So we can make channel two on the same screen or another screen. So this is how we do it, the, the fast way. And on just click on channel two right now, and we change the setup to noise figure cold source. And it will change, pop up a setup page. So it's two zero on points, just leave it as it is. Let's change 100 Mac to 500 Mac. And 500 Mac simple power wise let's change alternation to auto and start the power at zero and the range is roughly at zero so and then we don't change anything on the path configurations because that is automatically done and if you're interested this is how it looks like let's just cancel it let's go to noise figure it's up to your setting i'll start with two megahertz and if you think that the the Measurement is fluctuating too much, you can actually make it a bit lower even. So let's start with 2 megahertz and average. I won't turn on too high for now. You're going to see how it affects the calibrations and the measurement time. And because we are using noise bandwidth less than 4 megahertz, so this is going to kick in. And on part 2, I'm going to use noise receiver because it's part of 0 to 9 options. So maximum acquired in impedance state this is where the cal kit come in so it's up to you uh, by default it's five i can leave it as it is so let's do the apply and click ok so we can turn on the marker right now let's put it somewhere there it's almost there i would say it's 100 percent but it's almost there let's turn on the averaging to five one two three four five so you can see that um it's shipping through five times just to get an average of it. Roughly there. Okay. So most of the setup is done. Let's go to Cal. So in calibrations, we need to do two things. One is the power, which will utilize the power sensor. And as you can see, I will turn on this one. So I'll turn on the camera. As you can see, we have a power sensor connected to this one. So we have a power sensor here. I'm not sure why you can see that. Yep, let's put that. So we have a power sensor U2021XA connected. And we're going to use this power sensor to do the calibrations on port 1. Or you can use a smart noise source to do that. Right, let's go to Cal. 
So because we have two different channel set up, we can do scale up all. And you can see we have standard S21 and also noise trigger code source. So all the settings are here. You can actually just do it one time. So we want to do a vector cal for noise um, because we want to utilize the e cal or e tuner that's available on port one. So this is where the power. I won't change anything on here. Noise reductions. You can actually turn it on if you want to, but um, the the further you push it down, the longer the sweep time will be. Let's go to next. And this is what I've set up from port one to port two. And this is a power sensor. This is a power meter setting. So if you connect to a right power sensor and it's detected, this is where you can select it. Okay. And this is how it looks like for the calibrations. Okay. So before that, I'm going to show you another one. If you go to Smart Cal, so we can disable that. So you can see that the receiver characterization, we can either use a noise source or power meter. It depends on you. If you have noise source available, just use a noise source. If it's not, just use a power meter. Power meter, normally we need to use the average power meter. So the U2021 has both dynamic peak and average. So with this calibration, it's actually just doing the noise figure calibrations. So we just go to cal all again, just go back there, next, next, next. So we have everything here done. So we have calibration standard noise figure. So I'm going to click next. So first of all, we connect the power sensor to port one. So I'm going to turn on this one. I'm going to show you. Forgive me that I don't have the top wrench with me right now. So I just show you how it's done. But in real term, you really need a top wrench to make it work. Maybe I should just make it smaller over here. And let's make it smaller over here so that you can see it side by side. Uh, this is how it looks like. So you do click on the mesh. Huh? So this is just a very quick and easy way of set up. But of course, as a test, you need to change some of the number of points. Um, I have burned with the same concept. Do it before you start calibration. So next, we're going to connect port 1 and port 2 with a low loss adapter. Do a quick measure. So at this step, it will take quite some time to go through that. Again, it depends on the number of points and frequency range that you're setting. So we're going to connect e count between port 1 and port 2. Right, so it's done. So I'm going to connect the device on the ties, which is my cable. And let's, have, let's see how it fans out against um, zero S21 measurements. So for the connections, I will do this restart on channel two. So you should get an update after this 0.37. So the average will actually make it smoother. So let's see the S21 measurements. So let's update that. So it looks like this cable has a 2.48 dB of noise figure. And if you want to, you can turn off that and see how it, it is before the calibrations. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching.